June the 21st, 2020. Um, guys, my voice is not quite back to par yet. I've been trying to take it easy on it, but there's a couple of things I want to talk about here. First, uh, we're looking at satellite images of the uh, of the United States and parts of Mexico and very southern tips of Canada in the Texas Oklahoma area and moving now into western Arkansas these are some of the strongest storms on the map if not the strongest and what's happening now we're going through the summer solstice now we're in 21 days into hurricane season also but it's been very dry in the southeast and for weeks all through the spring, we were getting rain after rain. You know, it was every day in many places. Not everywhere, but we were having plenty. We were having a lot of flooding and very high rivers and everything. So um, what has happened now is for the last two or three weeks, maybe now, since the tropical system came through, it's been dry. And you can tell it by the gardens and the plants and just the the way everything is everything's kind of drying up but um we that may change for you guys there in arkansas and moving down into louisiana now now also off the east coast up north we have a tropical system or subtropical system that the hurricane center has been watching for a couple of days i've been watching it yesterday it was a 10 percent chance of development not much to it it's now a 20 percent chance of development early this morning but uh, it's starting to get some rotation now. It's not expected to strengthen. It's coming out of the uh, warm waters of the Gulf Stream itself. It's getting into cooler waters, but it may bring some moisture to the uh, east coast. The what's happened is the front that's moving now. If you look up the Mississippi River Valley from Illinois in that area all the way down to Tennessee, that is kind of stalled and is now moving north. It's because of, if you look to the t very top of the screen, that's where part of the Arctic vortex is dipped right there. And so as it pulls back up, it's no longer pushing towards the east coast not, or to the right of the screen. So you may get some of that moisture and they may have some small craft warnings. And uh, yesterday, one thing about this, and we'll look at the Hurricane Center uh, information on it that it was predicted to head straight out into the Atlantic. 10% chance moving out into cold water, not much uh, happening. If you look closer, you can see where the uh, center of rotation is right there, and the top clouds are kind of being pushed north also in the same direction of this front instead of, as you see, if you go further south, that uh, wind shear would be moving from left to right or out east into the Atlantic. But if it the front continues to stall, guys. You may see some, uh, again, some moisture, maybe a few uh, thunderstorms from the New York area up, uh, no up along the northeast coast here. And uh, you can see on today's National Hurricane Center, the five-day weather outlook, this uh, system's 20% chance of cyclone formation in five days. And instead of the uh, path, again, moving straight out into the Atlantic, you can see that it's possibly going to move north because that front is uh, stalled and moving north, and that would bring it closer inshore and uh, give you uh, chances of more rain. But it says a broad, non-tropical low-pressure system is formed a few hundred miles east of the coast of North Carolina. And uh, although cloudiness and shower activity are currently disorganized, the system could still briefly acquire some subtropical characteristics tonight and early Monday while the low moves northeastward over the warm waters of the Gulf Stream. By Monday night and Tuesday, however, the system is expected to weaken when it moves back over the cooler waters of the North Atlantic. They're not talking about any kind of landfall or anything like that, guys. Again, just possibly some coastal raining and um, some uh, storms around that area. You may need the rain, I don't know. And just looking at the uh, Texas-Oklahoma map just for a second, Guys, uh, and this is coming out of Norman, Oklahoma. You've already got flash flood watches and warnings along this area. That's um, because of the heavy rain. And if you kind of keep an eye on this thing through the day and keep an eye on your National Weather Service if you're in these areas, and notice also coming into Arkansas now, the, uh, you just keep it for severe thunderstorm warnings and possibly a tornado pop-up or something because it's very warm. Again, as I'm doing the video, let me turn around one moment. It is uh, 
85 degrees here, 73% humidity, and a heat index of 93. Again, we're, it's, it hasn't gotten to noon. Yesterday, which I think today is going to be warmer, we were having heat indexes in the afternoon here of uh, 100 degrees. But uh, it's still early in the summer. I've seen the heat index here hit 120 last year. But uh, just keep an eye on the storms in that area, guys. If you're right in the Dallas area and going north and east, you want to possibly turn on your weather radio. We're watching it, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe. And uh, this just popped up, guys. These are Wichita Falls uh, up towards Lawton, down towards Fort Worth, Dallas. And you can see these uh, flash flood watches and warnings popping through here. So keep an eye on that if you're in low-lying areas. It's heads up. Be safe.